Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel. We're on day four of our Wild West series. You can see I beat into the safe last night. Took some work, of course, but I did it. So let's see what we would have got if we did it yesterday. Sweet, Iron Breaker mod, and 10% more sneak damage at night. That might not actually be a horrible thing. I'm, I'm always okay with getting extras, uh, little books and stuff like that. All right, so one of the other things I was looking at while I was just dorking around in my inventory is I've got the forged iron so I can make a couple short iron pipes, which I need to be able to make any of the pipe weapons. I made a pipe shotgun, but I has no more ammo for it. So if I get a couple more pipes, then what I can do is I can make a pipe rifle, which I do have nine rounds for that. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. And that's pretty much all we did last night. Well, that was stupid. There we go. We cleared the top deck of this ship, but I have a feeling that doesn't necessarily mean that this place is nice and safe now. Um, every time I peek my head down in here, I'm afraid that other things have spawned in. I think I've kind of looked sort of down here just once or twice, but the amount of crap that we had show up yesterday that just kept coming and it just kept coming over and over and over again, it would not stop the amount of things that we had to deal with yesterday. I can't imagine that there's anything else left downstairs. But I'm also not entirely a fool. Partially, but not entirely. I'm going to craft one of these real quick. So what I need to do is I need to make some more stone arrows. Because since we're going in this full noob mode, basically, I need to get... There's a horse! I want I want you, horsey. Come here. Hey, can I just, like, ride you? God, you're a pretty horse, too. Come here. Look at you being all beautiful and such. What a beautiful horse. So, I need to find a couple nests, which in so far in this mod, they have not been hard to find. But now that I say that, I'm probably going to wander around for a while unable to find one. Just because that's how my luck works out. How are we on rocks? We have 36. We got plenty of rocks to be able to make some more. What do you mean I don't? Oh, I must have actually clicked something. Okay, so let's see if we can find a couple of the supplies we need. And then we're going to work on getting the uh, rest of this ship taken over. And we're going to... We're going to make this place our home. All right, so we got enough crap to be able to make 37 of these. That's not terrible. That'll put us up to a little over 40. Oh, good. It's going to be nice and stormy again. Hope that doesn't mean the temperature is going to drop. We are a little bit close. Thanks. Let me only put you down here like this. We're a little bit close to being encumbered. I have no idea how much more crap we're going to have to deal with on this ship. Oh, good. The temperature is dropping. We've got nine total shots with this. It's a one shot at a time, so I don't know. We'll just have to see where it goes. Maybe, maybe, just maybe what I have to do is use this for some of the big boys. Now, yesterday, we had a tremendous number of cops show up, more so than I really would have preferred this early on. I did not plan on this POI being this uh, intense. This one was a lot more than I actually prepared for. I, I was not ready for this. I'm shocked and... Honestly, a little bit proud of myself for not dying. Um, did considerably well, considering all things went, you know, horribly wrong. We were down below half of our health most of the day. But we're going to make this place our own. So, it's time to head downstairs. We've got 40-something arrows. If we need to back out to be able to get some more, we can always do that. I don't think we've... No, we haven't really poked around in here much. All right, I see Lois. Oh, there's a soldier right there. Maybe... We'll get lucky and we can take out a... Oh, there's a soldier out there too. Well, there's no way a stone arrow is going to take out one of these guys in one shot. It's just not happening. Especially if we miss. Crap. Crappy dappy do. All right. Come on, jog your happy butt over here and bring my arrow back. All right, well, first wave's down. We got slightly tagged once, but nothing too dramatic. A couple soldiers down there, but fortunately they weren't doing anything major. I hear a whole bunch of noise down there, so I'm just wait waiting for somebody else to show up. This is this this boat is a beast, man. I understand why some people were telling me this is a much harder one than I'm anticipating. I'm genuinely curious because I haven't even looked yet. We're on day four is just starting. I want to see. We've killed 112 enemies so far with a wooden club and stone arrows. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give myself a teeny tiny little pat on the back. Props to me for... Uh, don't, don't say those words specifically. Props to you, Cap, for doing okay so far. Let's, let's leave it at that and hope that the karma gods don't decide to be like, Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Is that what you think? Well, let's just go ahead and change all that around. 
All right, so we got some crossbow bolts. We don't need those, that, and that. We don't really need that either, but we'll take those with us, I guess. All right, let's see what kind of loot's on this side. Also, I'm not entirely sure how many... Um, let me see. What's the way to put this? How many decks are on this particular ship? I, I don't necessarily know how deep this thing is. I can clearly see that there's one more below us. Some money, some more pipes. That's good. I could probably make a pipe baton, but I don't think it would be better than my level 3 club that I'm currently rocking. I mean, it might be, but I don't know. So I'm not sure how many decks we have to go. Let's see. We got one more below us. There's stairs going down that way. I see Glenn is clearly not smart enough to figure out how the stairs work. He'll tear it down eventually. Well, we'll get to him when he gets here. Let's check the rest of this stuff. Ooh, a wrench. That could be useful. Especially if we need to get some more pipes, we can take some stuff apart. That's fantastic. Yeah, look at this stuff. That's all stuff. That's all good stuff. That's a good first aid find. Yes, thank you, game. That's a good first aid find. Hell, yes. I rarely ever see first aid supplies actually when I need them, so I'm happy about that. Who's awake now? Hello? Is that still Glenn down there? I'm sure well, he'll figure it out or he won't. I don't know. I guess we'll take you to some more good stuff. Nice. We don't necessarily need the recog. All right. So does eh, range damage could be kind of useful. The dist the chunk into water we take. Tell you what, I may take that before I head down into the next one just in case we do need to do some snappy snaps. Another empty jar. Okay. All right, let's move around to this end of the stairs and see if there's anybody else over here. Again, it's shocking to think that there's a bunch of zombies here that did not wake up yet, considering how bad or how many zombies there were yesterday. There's Glenn. Hey, you figured it out, you big idiot. Nutshot to death, man. Was it worth the effort? You can tell me. Also, while we're here, I want to really quickly say, first off, thank you to Rat Dog for his continued... Um, contribution in counting random things in this game whether it's cans or anything that he was our can counter in the last uh series so i appreciate that but just a big shout out to him real quick he's taken a loss on a personal level lately and i'm not going to go into the details of that but i just recently found out that he has uh hit a couple hard times lately in life and just know that red dog if you're listening to this we're all sending good thoughts your way man and, of course, if you ever need anything, just let us know. That's what we do as a community. We watch out for one another. We keep an eye on each other. And we help each other when we're down. That's what I love about this community. So, Red Dog, just know we got your back, man, if you need anything. Let's finish searching this area. Doesn't look like there's anything to sleep over here at the moment. So far, so good. Money. Nice. At least we're finding a couple things. Oh, let me get rid of you real quick and put you up here. I don't necessarily need the paper just yet. The Fort Bites, I don't really need either, but eh. I'll hang on to him just in case. Uh, no. Scrap you. Take both of those. That's good stuff. We're finding some good stuff for being this early on. It's not a trip. It's not a, a game-changing level of things that we've been finding, but we've been finding some things. Okay, so, so far, this end of the ship is not nearly as bad as what the other end was. Uh, let me see. We are, okay, we're two decks down. I need to go... Looks like some of the idiots decided... This, oh yeah, this is where they were digging out trying to get to me. <laughs> Bunch of maroons. All right, let's tiptoe over. Oh, I see a piggy. That's a boar. It's funny, in the second video, I ended up with a whole bunch of boar's milk from killing those boars. It's generally funny how many people also notice that, hey, a boar is a male pig, and a sow is a female pig. And the fact that I had boar milk, a lot of people are telling me, hey, you should probably not drink that, which I totally agree. If you got boar's milk, it's probably not what you think or hope it is. I need you to go ahead and die real quick, get the experience, and we can chop you up for some food for later on. But yeah, there was quite a few comments telling me like, Hey Cap, um, boars don't produce milk, sows do. You may not want to drink that. Fully agree. Completely. Alrighty then, I'm going to chop back there in a minute, but we'll get the rest of this stuff first. Well... Let's see, how many freaking, we found six cooking pots so far. I would say that we're doing okay on cooking pots. See, boar's milk. That doesn't exist. We're going to drink it and everybody just try not to gag on what that could actually possibly be. But we're at least we're going to drink that because, you know, it helps out. It's at least something. I don't think I want it, but I'll take it if the game's going to give it to me. Uh, are you a thing? Oh, look, there's another cooking pot. 
Okay, I want to assume that behind this giant pile of wood that there's something back here. I may, may not be, but we're going to be back here just to see. Well, I've run into a little bit of a pickle here. I was originally going to finish chopping down the rest of this wood here because, well, it's a decent chunk of experience just for sitting there beating down on it, but my stone axe broke and I don't have any more rocks. I used them all to make all the arrows there, so I need to check this real quick. Sure, why not? Um, let me see what I should probably do real quick while we're here and it's kind of safe before we get too much further down because I have to... Oh, I didn't even see this thing right there. Oh, is there one on this side too? Huh, spent all night here. I beat that one down and got, was in, didn't even get inside that one. We're gonna have to come back and do that one too. But if we're gonna make this one home, then we should be okay. So what I should do... Ooh, I can do this. Uh, here, let's do that. Ha oh, ha, there we go. Now we're not encumbered. Uh, make sure I don't need any of this stuff that's up here right this very second. I think we're okay on stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those just in case we get dinged a little bit. I don't necessarily need it just yet, but just in case. You know, something I didn't really think of either is that my bedroll, I think, is still sitting way back over there at the first barn that we put that in here. If I ended up dying from here, I wouldn't even teleport back to my original house back over there where I have everything kind of hanging out. Um, you know, first place I decided to call home. I'm going to make another bedroll and put it up inside the captain's quarters of this ship here. So, A, putting a bedroll down does help out with preventing zombies from spawning. Yes, it does actually work. And B, what are you? Oh, it's a hand it's a hand crank table saw. That's kind of cool. Anyway, and B, that way if I die, I at least spawn back in at the boat where things are nice and terrible. What the hell is that sound? Dude! It's an air balloon with an airdrop. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool. That's like on the way back. Oh, nice. We'll go ahead and just put you right quick right there. See, this is where we have our original house. We're not too far there. And that's where the trader is. Actually, no, that's where the trader is. This is where our spawn point was. But we got that fixed now. Hang on. I'm going to come back over here real quick. Put down my sleeping bag just in case things go absolutely horrible. I don't have to come all the way back over here. Probably a good idea. Okay, we'll worry about beating into this here in just a little bit. Onwards back to the bottom layer of this boat here. Uh, let me make sure you're you're good to go. All right, so we did we did this level. We didn't do this level. All right, I see I see a person down there. All right, let's see. Uh, of course, I probably left my recog. Yeah, I left it in my other pants. That's just what we do. Got a ton of bone here, so I can necessarily repair things if I need to. Okay, well, let's try and sneak about just a bit and see how many things we can kill before they know we're here this time. I only saw one laying down the other direction. We got one more deck below us. Can't... I see some ammo and a chicken. I don't know if there's anything else in this level. I haven't heard anything moving just yet, but I'd really rather be safe since we're kind of several levels down. I don't have to be chased. All right, there's Tom... There's, looks like Owen right there. Okay, so he's down, that's good. Shot him in the shoulder because we didn't have a chance to. There we go, he's down. So there, uh oh. That's a dog right there. There's low, oh man. Okay, let's see if we can do this properly. Alright, Lois is down. Glenn's down. Keep an eye on things. Okay, so Tom's awake, but the dog's not aware of our position yet. Oh, Tom. I feel bad for you, man. I don't, but I do, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's see if we can't get a sneak shot on this dog right over the top of this. If we get lucky, we might be able to pop his top before he has a chance to do anything. Assuming this is just a regular dog. Okay, so we got the hit. Ow! Bad dog! Okay, nice! Level 13, two skill points. At this point, I'm feeling kind of cocky. Let's just run around here. Edgar! What's up? Arlene, you can just lay down too. Drunken cowboy. Okay, I still I hear things above me here, so I'm just going to assume that things are going to come piling down the ladder here real, real short-like. Hey, lay down, lady. And down he went. Okay, so I'm definitely hearing a bunch of things still. What are you? Okay, is that all the actual zombies here? Uh, it looks like we have at least one more deck below us. I have no idea how close we are to the ground, so I have no idea how close we are to being done with this one. Uh, okay. 
You're making a bunch of noise up there. You keep doing you. I'm going to search, see if I can find some good stuff. Cowboy boots. I know I should probably be wearing cowboy boots considering the series that I'm on, but at least padded boots provide some sort of armor rating. I should probably repair those. We're rocking a full-on armor set here, and it's it's okay. Uh-oh. That's Frank. There's big Frank. Hey. Big Frank, what's up, dude? Hey, come here. Just look at me. Did you fall off? He fell off. Get back up here. Oh, you suck. You hopped right when I needed you to I needed you to not do that. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to waste an arrow shooting you in the nuts. That's just not nice. I'm not, but I'm not going to waste a, gu a bullet shooting you in the nuts. See, if I can bonk you just a little bit, maybe I can set you on fire. There you go. Keep you warm until you're dying breath. Eventually, he'll figure out how to get in here. He's got to go through this block or that one, which it looks like he's trying to get through that one. That's not going to get him in any quicker, so... I'm guessing he either died or just got bored because I don't see him anywhere. Let's drink a couple things... No, uh, he's he's just not on fire anymore. Frank, what are you doing, man? Besides being gassy. Okay, well, you keep doing you. I'm going to keep searching around and see if I can find any good loot. Nice, decent chunk of rocks. We can use that to make some more arrows. Did you figure out how to get back up there yet? Ew, that sounded like he just sharded. Yeah, it's more frames. I actually don't mind finding those. As much as I use those, I really don't mind finding them. It's always nice to have a couple extra frames on you. If for some reason you never thought about that, having the extra frames sitting in your inventory to be able to jump stack, to climb on top of things. I see some main loot back over there. It's always good to have some extra ones with you. Um, I'd always advise it. I mean, if you've ever watched any of my playthroughs for the current ones all the way back to the early, early ones, um, I always have frames at my inventory here because you never know like what was the second episode we had to do a quick fast and hurry run from some piggies and we was able to jump and stack our way back on top of the little barn and keep ourselves safe from all them piggies yeah definitely worth having hang on frank frank did you figure it out yet and i already checked you what oh we got some more coins some scrap gloves what am i currently rocking some better scrap gloves okay so let me just i could technically sell those you know, I could repair those and be worth a little bit more. I don't know where he's at. It sounds like he's got some serious case of the Hershey squirts. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he was, Maybe he was warning me. Maybe that's what he was doing. I'd, you came up the wrong set of stairs, dude. Wrong set of stairs. I need you to funnel in right there. Just like that. Oh, that didn't kill you? I was hoping to at least take one of you idiots out. I mean, at least kind of softened you up a little bit, right? There's a chunk of people down there. Glenn, bring back my arrow. Thank you, sir. What are y'all... That's not how you get up here. If I get hit through the stairs because these idiots, I'm going to be unhappy. Come on, Tim. Figure it out. You're smarter than... Well, maybe. I may be giving you far too much credit for it, too. You and your idiot buddies want to just come up here and stand next to the rail. I will wait for you and then happily beat on your face while you're on fire. Hey! Oh, okay. So you technically are a little bit smarter. Well done. I'm going to blame getting hit through the floor on that one here. If y'all could not, that would be great. Repair you and repair you. Might as well repair you. Um, no. No. Okay, I'm going to move over here. Maybe y'all are super dumb today. Come over here. Come on, man. What are y'all doing? Oh, Lieutenant Dan's, he's trying to climb through the ceiling. I see what it is. So he's in charge of these idiots and leading them astray. Or is that Edgar? You've been hitting the sauce again. You're like, hey, guys, I'll show you a shortcut. Just go right through the floor. Well, that was fun-ish. See if I can go through and collect some of my arrows. Frank is still worried about that window. He is desperately trying to figure out a way to get through there. He is he is absolutely not of the smart part of this bunch. Do you have my arrows still? Alright, well, while I was running around, I noticed two more crates here that I forgot to bust into before we even tried to head downstairs. So let's get through these real quick. Come on, fun stuff. More cubes. Okay, we were just talking about those. Uh, nice, some forged steel and some wood. Forged steel is not bad. I don't think I have anything I can do with that without having a workbench, but 
we did see there was a workbench over at the trader that's functioning, which is great. That's something they removed back in, uh, what was it, Alpha 18? Does anybody remember specifically which Alpha they removed all of the working, all the working uh, workstations? You know, because if you're kind of new to the game, you used to be able to find like a working forge, a workstation, a workbench, all that sort of stuff you used to be able to find just randomly laying around the world. And then they were like, nah, that's making game way too easy. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Something I've disagreed with since that decision was made. You should be able to find them. Oh, good. Bullets to a gun we don't have again. So anyway, so far, it looks like that is something that is in this mod is that they brought back the working workstations, at least the first one. And I'm on, on board with all that. So it looks like we've made it down. I could sell. Actually, I could throw you one if you start getting uh, cold again. Hang on. We're currently rocking a poncho so we don't get too hot. Cold resist is 11. What are you? 13. That's a little better. A padded llama wool jack. I'm going to hang on to you. If it starts raining again. I'm sorry, chicken. If it starts, <laughs> starts raining again, we can throw that on real quick. And maybe, just maybe, when we get so freaking cold. Come on, 762 ammo. More 9mm. Oh, I'm sorry. That's 38 short Colt ammo. Is that what I picked up over here, too? Nice. I mean, it's 9mm ammo. Same skin, of course. Same item. But uh, different for this particular mod. Nice, another first aid kit. You know, we picked up a couple of those that we left in the box upstairs. That gives you a ton of health. I don't need something that much. I kind of want to save that for, hey, bad things are happening. You really need a lot of health real fast. Take the rocks for some arrows. I know there's a bunch of, ooh, what do we have? Rubadoo? Wait, hold on. Rubaboo? That's actually pretty good. That would fill up most everything we have here. Sure, let's use you. I don't know what Rubaboo is. Is anybody familiar with what that um, particular that with that particular thing is? I don't necessarily know what a Rubaboo is. Shotgun ammo and oh, nice! So we have our pipe shotting. We got fifty shotgun rounds now. That's fantastic. I mean, yeah, it's still single shot. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I will. I will get all the boxes that I haven't cracked open just yet. I'm trying to get all the loose loot first. Vitamins. I don't, I'm not taking the blood bag. I can't recipe those yet anyway. All right, let's start from the back of the boat, I guess, and go ahead and take you. Actually, real quick, let me go ahead and get you recipe, stone arrows, boom. Get 28 more of those. That'll put us up a decent chunk. Time to crack into these bad boys and see what we can get. More vitamins, nice, and some more uh, steroids. It's good for if we do get the limps. Some overalls. Those aren't terrible. I'm just going to scrap them, of course. I don't need them. A lot of sources of wood here. I don't think there's anything back in that corner. Nope. Lots of wood sources. I'll leave you alone for now. I just took out one of your buds. Hang on. Is that a... Oh, that's a box right there. Oh, it's a wick working stiff, too. Oh. One steel parts and some cement, which we don't really need either one of those right at the moment. Thanks, game. I was hoping for an actual tool. Take some more money that we can sell when we get back over to Trader Dude. Checked popping pills for another bandage and some more fort bites. Ah. Damage mitigation 50%. That's definitely good if you're... I should have eaten some of those before I came back into the boat. Would have been good, of course. But that big dip you take on water is always one of those. It's like, ah, what are you? 10% more damage with spears? Okay, well, we're not using one. You are locked. I'm going to have to beat into you. You are empty. Okay, well, let's go check the things that we can open first. Sweet, sweet. Large beef rations, some moonshine. I'll take these. I'm going to leave the blueberries behind. I don't need those. We're going to have to drop some of this stuff off back into our... We're going to have to make some chests, basically, before I can really do anything with them. So let's see what's in, uh, see what's in these crates. Construction site with chunk of nails. That's okay. And lock picks. Ooh. Mechanical part. Oh, I like the design of that. The the layout of that. The, the new change there. I like that. Steel parts and the lock picks. Okay. I doubt our luck is going to be good enough to get into that crate over there with only three lock picks. We can try, of course. We will try since we were gifted those. But I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really feeling that's going to happen. We'll, we'll have to see if the game decides to be nice to me. Uh, hold on. Check see if there's any free food. We don't need any shrooms right at the moment. Can't see if there's anything back behind or underneath these things. Doesn't look like it. The way the, the boat kind of sits at an angle. 
Got one more crate right here, and then we'll worry about trying to get into... Oh, that's just a Savage Garden box here, so... Uh, who knows whether it's actually have anything good for us. Maybe some better armor? Bow parts. You know what? We actually... There's a pig right there. We've been running around here, didn't even notice that. I actually learned how to make a bow. Um, iron crossbow. Let me see, I can technically make that. Uh, warrior bow. See, I have some more parts sitting over there. All of this I don't necessarily have, but can probably get. So we could actually have a warrior bow. I don't know if it would be better. Obviously, a crossbow is good for stuff and things, too. Um... Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of a sneaky shot on El Pig here. We'll go around this direction. We are chonky, so we can't even move that fast. We definitely can't take out El Pig Roo here in one shot, but we can try. Ow! Got him! Not too bad. Getting that one's real hard shot at the very beginning is not a horrible thing. Hey, we got some more boar's milk. Yummy. Yeah, we are we are super duper chonky, but that's pretty much how we spend most of our most of our days anyway. <laughs> Frank, you're gonna have to give it up. All right, we have three lock picks, and then if we have to, we can beat in on it with our pickaxe. But let's see if we get lucky first. Oh man, on the last one we got in. Oh crap, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'll take you. Thank you. Oh, we got a cruise for us. <laughs> oh my God. We haven't had one of these this early in the game ever. Look at that. A level four. Oh, oh. Okay. And a, a steel school, a steel uh, tool schematic. Sorry, I can't talk. Level four pipe shoddy. Hold on. We'll take you. We'll just scrap you. Oh, a level four. Tell you what, I'm going to put you right down here. I don't need you in my inventory right this second. Oh, baby. Yeah. Put you up here. Get, get you reloaded real quick. A level four pipe shot is not horrible. Still one shot, still takes a week to reload, but oh man. Okay, uh, ammo, that's fantastic. Bullets, uh, padded armor, some of that, some of that, and some of that. Oh man. Oh man, we are fully chonky, but we got in, baby. I can't believe we got in there. We got one lock pick left. Look at that. That is, that is amazing. All right, well, let's get to the top of this boat and see if we can't uh, make a little bit of storage. Uh, from where we're going to be calling a home. This is as fast as I can move. I'm so chonky at the moment. We also got to go deal with Frank. He has seriously got some indigestion. I don't know what his malfunction is. All right, made it back up to the top here. Got a little bit of rideable storage so I can throw these down real quick. And we can use it just to dump a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, like most... I, don't know, I should probably get that back out of here. There's probably stuff in here I know I'm going to need. But I need to get everything I have from outside back over to here. Everything else I dumped in right over here. Uh, eventually, we can clear out the top part of this boat and uh, make it all nice and pretty. Fix some doors on here. Add some reinforcements in some places so the idiots can't get to us. Let's see, drop all of you off in there. Look at that. We still got all kinds of space. Well, guys, we did it. We cleared the boat. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now going to be fantastic hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on let me uh let me see grab you real quick and repair you put you back in there now i need to get over to oh wait hang on no i need to go up to the top of these catwalks here uh we didn't finish searching those i don't think i can make this gap right here okay you're not gonna let me i'm gonna have to uh, i'm gonna have to fix you aren't i really i can't fix just the ladder Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, let's see if we can't... Uh, where, where's Frank's at? He's stuck. <laughs> He's like army crawling underneath the place here. All right, let's see. He shouldn't have a whole lot of life left here. We're just going to shoot him in the butt a few times. And he's down. Level 14, three skill points to use. fan freaking tastic Okay, so in order to get up to the top of that one, if there's anything, I think in the crow's nest there is some treasure. I think. I think somebody had mentioned that, or I don't know. Somehow or another, I feel like I know that, but I don't know why. So let's see. Uh, that one's a little bit more complete. So here's what we can do. We can take you, do ladder like this. We'll just do, yeah, we'll do square ladder just so it kind of looks normal. 
Uh, I'm going to have to beat down some of this to be able to replace it with this. I want to get up to the crow's nest and see what we have over here. Now, tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I need to go through all the crap I have here, see if there's anything that I can sell to the trader, go over to the trader. You need to go back to the other house and pick up all my crap because it's mine. Would you like that? And like, I don't think I can climb that. I don't think that's going to be on the right side for me to climb. Uh, we'll just have to try it out here, but, um, let me finish beating this down real quick. That works. All right. Anything on top of the sails? Not yet. We'll check the one that's up here. Let's see if we can do this without breaking, uh, anything. How about it? Easy does it. Okay. So this crow's nest, we got some food. Sweet. I'll take all of you. All right. Let's, okay. Make sure you're not going to, oh, is that a river boat? Hang on. Calm down. Don't have to run off the edge in all excitement here. That would suck. We got a riverboat. Oh, check that out. There's a freaking riverboat over there. I wonder if it's like a riverboat for gambling. All right. What do we have here? We got like a lumber mill. I've done a lumber mill before. That one's doable. The slip it in cat house. And I can't tell if that's just a construction house. I'm not entirely sure. This place we could probably clear out in a day. Uh, let's see. What else can we see from around here? We got a small little town right over there. Looks like some desert that direction. So there's a different biome over that way. Fantastic. We are a long ways up here. I have got to really pay attention to make sure I don't do anything stupid. I'm not sure if I checked out on the very end of the bow over here too. Uh, let's see if we can, we can't go up. I don't think there's anything up there. Okay, let's try to... No, they wouldn't put anything up there, would they? I mean, they're not that mean. That's cool. We have a riverboat. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I'm trying to make that into our horde base if we're going to. I know I've had people tell me, it's like, oh, Cap, you know you mentioned it, but you could very well go ahead and just turn off the horde night. And I don't know. That might be one of those, like, I know there's enough people that are like, oh, you should totally leave it on um, because it's, you know, fun and part of the challenge stuff. But eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm put you like that, maybe. All right, let me beat down some of this ladder and we can get up there and see what's on the top of this one. By the way, if you have a fear of heights or you get vertigo from being really high up in the air, I apologize here, but we're going to be doing this for a little bit to go up and down here. All right, so what did they use? What texture did they use to make these sails all crumpled up like that? Because it looks cool. All right, there is something at the top of that one. That one's all kinds of screwed up. We're going to have to wait a minute. No, that is the top of that one. They just, idiots just broke off stuff. That's probably what they broke. Freaking awesome. We are the captain now for sure. That's, that's freaking awesome. We'll worry about getting that other one here tomorrow. I'm going to get back inside, start working on trying to organize what's going to be my future home. Loving it, man. I can't believe we finally finished this stupid boat. I'm going to see where we are total here. 132 zombies killed. Really not too much in way of, in ways of weapons we have technically we have a couple guns but they're not great so most of what we've been doing here is straight up just beat downs and arrows where did i put all of my rocks did i use all of them i thought i had some more maybe i'm blind i'll see some more here i gotta repair my axe it's about to break anyway we're gonna wrap it up here guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you're enjoying the series still I'm having a really good time with this one truly do appreciate all the support on it so far if you did do me a favor and leave a like on it if you're new here make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos and of course click the little bell so you get notified when videos go live and in the meantime you guys have a wonderful day and i will talk to you later